Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. What's your favorite part? The ice cream, the root beer, or just the whole experience of getting an ice cream float? That's tough. I think it's the experience. I love the mix of a warm day with some cold ice cream and the crackles of frozen root beer you get on the top. Ooh, that, that part mm. might be my favorite part. It might be tough to get a root beer float this time of year, though. Or maybe it's just too cold for you. But you don't have to totally give up the experience. Instead, you can grab this monstrously large can and play the Root Beer Float Challenge. The Root Beer Float Challenge is a family party game for up to eight players from Grey Matters Games. Let's talk about that art, huh? <laughs> the Root Beer Float Challenge comes packaged in this big can, and that actually gives you some idea what to expect here. In the game, you're building a collection of ingredients for a float, and they're all present here in a tangible, physical form that you'll really use in the game. The ice cream ball, straws, even a cherry, and the root beer itself, symbolized by the can. The art on the cards is just adequate, but it's clear, and it's put together with a few clever touches. So, Anitra, let's talk mechanics. How do you actually play the Root Beer Float Challenge? Well, players are going to take turns, starting with the oldest player. That's me. On your turn, roll the die to determine what kind of challenge you'll face. Solo, co-op, or head-to-head. -head. Then, draw the top card of that challenge type and read it out loud. Challenges use the ingredients in crazy ways. Rolling, flipping, balancing, hitting, or spinning. <laughs> the current player can pick their teammate for a co-op challenge or their opponent for a head-to-head -head challenge. If you win the challenge, you get to pick one ingredient shown on the challenge card to add to your collection. Grab an ingredient card. Yes, if it's a co-op challenge, you each get to pick an ingredient. Then it's the next player's turn to roll the die and attempt a challenge. Your goal is to collect all four ingredient types. Ice cream, root beer, cherry, and straw. First player to get all four of them wins. So, Anitra, what did we expect from the Root Beer Float Challenge? When I saw this game at PAX Unplugged, it seemed fun, but silly and repetitive. Minute to win it challenges are fun, but how many of them can you really do before the group gets tired of it? I figured it would be silly, but we all gathered around the table to play a party table game, and this is not quite that. You definitely need some space to move around. So what surprised us about the Root Beer Float Challenge? Well, the challenges were pretty funny to watch other people do. <laughs> some of them varied wildly in difficulty, which in some cases actually led our younger players to be a little bit frustrated. Me. Me too. This game is definitely not for the littlest among us or people who have poor fine motor skills. <laughs> but it is a fantastic, if dumb, intentionally, icebreaker or party game for a family that doesn't usually play a lot of games but they don't mind being somewhat active. This game is really clever. I love finding out new ways to use these ingredients. A few of the challenges were really simple, like asking a player to try and pick which hand hides a cherry. And some were really dumb, like getting two players to hold this ice cream ball between their butts. But most of them were really challenging. The designers found a lot of ways to use the same few elements. And although we initially sat around a table to play, this game definitely kept us moving. So Anitra, do we recommend the Root Beer Float Challenge? Like we said, this is a great game for younger people, like preteens and teenagers. You can certainly also play it as a family, but only if no one has mobility problems. Quite a few of the challenges ask players to lie on the floor, for example. But it is definitely guaranteed to get your group moving, and it's a great game for winter days when everyone is stuck inside. But not stuck inside the can. I hope not. <laughs> so Andrew, what are we gonna rate this silly game? We're gonna rate the Root Beer Float Challenge three scoops of ice cream out of five. And that's the Root Beer Float Challenge in, in a, a snap. snap. The ice cream ball. Ah! So close.